Hi again. Um, the first video on my vlog today, or the first video on my YouTube channel today, is what I did yesterday, which was pin this section, this panel, to the main body of the wrapping cloth. So I just thought I've got a few minutes today. I basted it, which I said I was going to do in that first video. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick few minutes to talk to you about joining it. So it's basted now. Now sometimes I like to do a double seam, and by that I mean perhaps do all French knots on here and then on that part do bullion knots or web stitches um, or maybe do buttonhole stitch and then bullion knots as a different row so I, I sometimes like to do a double seam with this one I'm going to do kind of a, a double seam but not in that way so what I'm going to do is I do I like to do this thing that I call stab stitch so I'll come up through the thinnest bit there there's a knot in this thread by the way and then down through the thickest bit it's just a, one little tiny stitch okay that hopefully is lying straight so i do them all the way along now this is really relaxing it's like ritualistic to be honest with you so I do that all the way along for the whole of this seam they're probably about half an inch apart but that's okay because i'm going to do something in between them so I would do that all the way along, okay? I'm not going to do it all the way along now. And I'm doing it with a Milner's needle, a straw needle. It's a Milner's needle or straw. They call it different things for bullion knots. I think I've said before, it's because the point is the same width as the eye or the eye is the same width as the point. So when you wrap in your threads, it pulls through, okay? So I can do that on a Milner's needle uh, or a straw needle. There's the same thing, so there's not two different needles, well there is, called Milner's and Straw, but they're exactly the same thing, it's just different names for them, okay, um, because it's sharp and it's serving the purpose and I don't have to change my needle now to do the bullion knots, so then in between those little stab stitches I'll do some bullion knots, so I'll do a 35 wrap. Count it in my head. Oh. Now what I was doing then when I stopped, I was checking that the base of the needle, that the wraps were tight enough, because sometimes if you're not tight enough at the bottom when you start off it's a really difficult thing you've got to get a practice with this sometimes if they're not tight enough at the bottom of the thing you end up with like the knot isn't as as nice as if they're all equally tight but then having said that if you do it too tight you really struggle to pull it through which doesn't help so it's just a case of practice with these honestly I mean, i've been doing these for years i can't remember now how many years and i get it wrong sometimes sometimes i'll have one that's a bit wonky one that's maybe not as perfect as the rest but it really is just practice you know just keep it up and if your first few are wonky it doesn't matter the bullion knot police aren't going to come and arrest you so that's wrapped now so i'm going to pull that through and then you pull your thread, the wraps are all on the bottom there, and then push them down, and then go back in where you came out the first time. Now, I'm not really going to talk about bullion knots, because there's another video on my channel somewhere, you can look for it. It's not that far back, about a week, two weeks ago, where I demonstrate bullion knots and speak about them in depth. So that's how that's going to look. I'll do one more. It's going to have the little stab stitches and then a bullion knot in between, which is kind of a double seam. But my other double seams are one line of stitch and then on a separate line, another line of stitch. Um, but this is just as effective. It looks different. It's not the same aesthetically. But it's another nice way to do it. And I'll count in my head again. Checking those bottom ones. Whoops. There, 35. Pull that through. Push them down. 
and there, go back in there. Okay, so that's two. Now that one's a bit wonky for some reason. It's got a bit of a lump in it. That could be the thread. Sometimes cotton abroad is like a wool, um, and it's a single strand. And sometimes I've found, very rarely, but some of the skeins aren't spun properly. And some you get to an area of the thread when you're pulling it off and it's very thin. Um, so that might be what's going on there. But I'm not going to worry about that. A man on a galloping horse would notice. Then I, could, I proved I couldn't do them anyway because of all these ones on here. So, so there. So that's what I'm going to do with this after the video yesterday. That's how I'm going to progress it. Okay.